Hi guys, it's Kale again, and this time I've got my loot crate. Um, it's the classic crate, and it just arrived today. Um, I went ahead and sliced open the box so I wouldn't have to fumble around with it, uh, but uh, let's go ahead and get started and see what we have. And this month's uh, theme is anti-hero. And right on the top of the box, you see Archer. Alright, let's see what it says there. Sterling Archer, do you want a president? Because that's how you get a president. Danger Zone President, 2016. Alright, and um, for any of you who haven't watched Archer yet, it's actually a pretty fun show. Kind of a satirical, spoofy type um, uh, spy show, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, next item in here, I saw the Kill Bill socks. Um... And that's the, the movie with Uma Thurman from, I think it's the 90s, maybe a little bit later. But, uh, just socks from Kill Bill. Uh, crazy samurai sword wielding lady, and it looks like it's got, like, the blood spatter, and, you know, just kind of a pair of socks. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't my favorite, so wasn't super into it. I really like the pin, though. I'm not sure how this is an anti-hero... Maybe the uh, Dark Elves are anti-heroes in that world. I always thought they were just, you know, another character you could play. But uh, really cool looking pin. Definitely Warcrafty. Um, loot crates getting away from like the branded, like loot crate branded pin. So it's not just a loot crate pin, it's a Warcraft pin. And actually this month's um, uh, loot pins, uh, their downloadable content is supposed to be a month worth of Warcraft online. Um, in preparation, it sounds like, for the uh, new expansion that's coming out. Alright. <clears throat> and uh, next item is from Hellboy. It looks like Hellboy's Fist. And it's the Right Hand of Doom Ceramic Bank. So I'm assuming it's just Hellboy's Fist with a slot in the top for coins. Alright. And from the front, I was a little worried it was going to be black, but if you've ever watched the movie or read any of the comic books or anything like that, you knew it was red. So I'm real glad that they did red and the slots in the back there. So kind of just a cool little bank with a little rubber stopper on the bottom. All right. Actually, I really like that. Um, it's better than some of their filler items that they sometimes do. Um, so big fan of the fist, the pin, and the shirt so far. Socks are kind of so-so for me. I really like fancy socks, but those ones just didn't hit the mark for me. All right, and of course, the big item this month, um, and the one that was kind of hinted to most strongly in the teasers, is the Harley Quinn Q-Fig. And uh, it looks like it's kind of like the Batman one with the sign in the back. Uh, this one says, Hi, Puddin', miss me? Let's get her out of the box and take a look. All right, so the sign you can uh, to set up in a minute, but here's the Q-Fig yeah, down on the floor. All right, and there she is. The hammer is not glued in or anything, so that's cool, I guess. And then she's got the little hyena, the laughing hyena dog. And then the sign just goes right behind that uh, hyena right there. And there you go. I think I may have bent the hammer. I'm a little sad. But uh, pretty cool little figure. I'm, I'm actually kind of digging the Q-Figs. And they're not just that, you know, the generic uh, Funko Pops. Um, might not be as heavy duty a vinyl, but it's more... They've got more... Um, flexibility with their poses and what they can do with these figures so I really like that um, pretty basic paint job so nothing to screw up and uh, did a really good job with this one I think all right so that looks like it's everything in the box outside of just their um, literature yeah. all right so this will go in my case next to Batman. Um, I'm getting enough of these Q figures. I might just clear out one shelf for the Q figures, one shelf for my favorite um, Funko Pops, and then one shelf for the Firefly stuff. Uh, 
But uh, there's the Q-Fig, really like that. All right, and then this month looks like you can set up like a target or something with the box. I'm not gonna flip it out right now just because, meh. It's just a box in the end, but it's still kind of cool. Um, all right, and they've been doing more to try to beef up their magazine, but uh, usually just kind of tells you what's in them. It looks like they did a, a cosplay of their loot anime box characters, a couple of the other cosplay bits there. Oh, it's got a little comic in this one. Cool. But anyway, um, that was the box for August 2016. And tell me what you think in the comments below. Overall, pretty happy with everything. And um, in case you didn't see it, uh, I've got my... I just did a puzzle this weekend for the Fungo Pop Marvel puzzle. Um, found it at Target for about 10 bucks. Anyway, thanks for watching again, and you guys have a great day.